In this video we're going to look at non-infectious disease. We're going to talk about non-infectious disease broadly, then look at the three different types of non-infectious disease, genetic diseases, lifestyle diseases and environmental diseases. So as we've said in a previous video, non-infectious diseases are not caused by pathogen and can't be transmitted from person to person. So as the infectious diseases can be transmitted because they're caused by a pathogen, non-infectious diseases aren't. Instead, they're caused by something in the body not working properly. So this might be a part of the body or it might be a process within the body. Now we have three different types of non-infectious disease. The first type is a genetic disease. A genetic disease is a disease that is hereditary and is passed on from parent to child. Uh, an example of a genetic disease is haemophilia, uh, which is a disease which stops the blood clotting properly, which means that when you cut yourself, you keep on bleeding and you have to go to hospital and get a clotting factor for it. This genetic disease can also, uh, we're now finding, uh, can include predisposition to a particular disease. And in the last couple of years, they've discovered what they refer to as the breast cancer gene. And it's actually a gene that increases the likelihood of getting breast cancer. And you can actually be screened to see whether you've got this gene. There's also lifestyle diseases. And these are diseases that are caused by your lifestyle, as you might have guessed. Uh, so it's engaging in activities that can cause disease. So, for example, lung cancer can be attributed to the lifestyle decision of smoking tobacco. Uh, and poor diet can lead to hypertension, which is high blood pressure, which can eventually lead to stroke and heart attacks. So it's important to eat healthy and not smoke, I suppose. Uh, environmental diseases are diseases that are caused by exposure to the environment around you. Now, some of the big ones here are, is exposure to heavy metals, as for example, lead poisoning, mercury poisoning, uh, as well as exposure to asbestos, which can cause the disease asbestosis, uh, and exposure to radiation, which occurs, uh, there's, well, there's a few natural ways that it occurs, uh, but generally with exposure to radiation, we're talking about when there are nuclear accidents uh, that poison the ground, uh, so think Chernobyl, Fukushima, things like that. Now, you might be thinking in your head that some diseases don't fit neatly into one of those three categories. And that's what happens with non-infectious disease. It's hard because it's hard to pin down what actually causes the disease. Uh, so with uh, infectious disease, you can just look at it and go, well, that pathogen causes that disease, so therefore we've just got to treat that pathogen. Uh, in non-infectious disease, uh, when we're looking at what causes it, there's a whole range of factors that we need to take into account. And we don't know which one plays more uh, of a role than others. So, for example, I mentioned that uh, smoking can lead to lung cancer. Uh, smoking does increase your chance of getting lung cancer, but also having had family members who have developed lung cancer increases your uh chance of getting lung cancer. So in some ways it's hereditary as well. And there's people that get lung cancer without ever smoking. Uh, so with non-infectious disease, it's just a little bit tricky to pin things down, especially ones that we don't know a lot about. In this video, we've talked about non-infectious disease, diseases that are not caused by a pathogen and therefore cannot be transmitted from person to person. And we've looked at the three categories of non-infectious disease, genetic disease, which are passed on from parent to child, lifestyle diseases caused by your lifestyle, and environmental diseases caused by exposure to hazards in the environment. And we've also talked about how these categorizations are a bit wishy-washy at times.